Good afternoon. I'd like to uh, first start by thanking each of you for being here today. The fact that we are doing this for a second year under the COVID rules by no means diminishes the value or the importance uh, nor the sacrifice of the 72 women and men that have given the ultimate sacrifice for this city. This has been a challenging week for the Denver police family. We've had officers injured in significant car accidents, as well as Saturday, May 8th, when an officer responded to a trespassing call and was shot at close range by an individual armed with a sawed off shotgun. We ask that you keep our injured officers in your hearts and in your minds during this police week. Now, I would like to introduce Denver Police Chaplain, Rabbi Baskin. Thank you, Chief. Let us pray. God of the selfless, God of the strong and the brave, watch over our fallen DPD officers and their loved ones, and heal our injured line of duty officers. All officers who dedicate their lives to serving and protecting others men and women who have answered the call of honor, duty, and service. Today we gather at our annual DPD Memorial Program, recalling our brothers and sisters of blue who wore their DPD badge with honor, who paid the ultimate price to maintain law and order. Bless all those who have died in our service. May their memories be sanctified with gratitude and love. As we say together, amen. Thank you, Rabbi Baskin, for your prayers and your support. Now, I would like to introduce Executive Director of Public Safety, Murphy Robinson, to say a few words. Murphy. Thank you, Chief Pazin. On behalf of the city and county of Denver, Mayor Michael B. Hancock, I honor our fallen officers. It is never more important to remember the ultimate sacrifice that our fellow officers gave to our city and our county. Every name on this memorial not only represents Denver police officers who dedicated their life to service, but of the family members who mourn every day their loved ones. Our fallen officers and our living officers make sacrifices every day so that we can have a safer community. Our officers are professionally challenged, both mentally and physically, but every day answer that call. We appreciate your sacrifice as citizens, as colleagues, and want you to know that we love our police officers. It reminds me of my late grandmother, who was a special agent for the Social Security Administration, when she faced challenges, she would sing a Negro spiritual. And in that Negro spiritual, she, the words were, feet don't fail me now, signifying the strength that it takes to persevere and move forward during dire and hard times. And so officers that are living today, on behalf of those who've lost their lives, I want to let you know, as we answer the call for services, that will forever be in our memories and make lasting impressions on our lives. 
I want you to say, feet don't fail me now. As we stand in the gap for victims of heinous and violent crimes, I want you to say, feet don't fail me now. As we endure the political rhetoric and social consequences that reflect on only the shortcomings of our profession and not highlighting the sacrifices that you make every day and great work of the majority of our police officers do every day, say, feet don't fail me now. As we kiss our loved ones before we go to work every day, realizing the stress that the day's toll will be on us, but it will also be in our families, I want you to say, feet don't fail me now. As we honor those who've paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we may live in a more safe community, I want us to all say together, feet don't fail me now. Thank you, Executive Director Robinson. We talked about the, the difficult week, uh, police week that has just begun, and uh, we've been very fortunate that we are not adding another name to this wall, not adding a 73rd name. But it's also been a very difficult year, not only for law enforcement, but for our entire community. Policing always has and likely always will be a difficult and dangerous job. We are beyond grateful for our officers who continue to go towards danger, to put themselves in harm's way, to help keep our community safe. When an officer is injured or even worse, killed in the line of duty, it's beyond devastating, not only for the DPD family, but also for our community. As we've seen just a few weeks ago up north in Boulder when an officer was killed in the line of duty, that is the time that we lean on each other and we come together. We come together as a community with our residents and with our police officers so we can grieve and take care of one another. I want to say a special thanks to the Denver Police Museum, the Denver Police Foundation, and to the Denver Police Officers Foundation for their continued support of the Officer Memorial. They continue to step up in times of need and ensure that we never forget the women and men who have given their life to this city. To the families of our fellow fallen officers, we stand with you, not only today, but always. We thank you for sharing your loved one with us, and we express our admiration for their decision to become a police officer, knowing the risk that they face. Now more than ever, it is important that we continue to do the right thing for our community. It is important that our officers to honor the oath that they have committed to and to keep supporting one another as they carry out this difficult and dangerous work. Now, Denver Police Officer Vina Maciel, a retired sergeant from the United States Marine Corps, will present the fallen officer Reef.
As we close this ceremony, again, I want to thank each of you for being here and that I ask that you keep the families of the 72 women and men who have given the ultimate sacrifice in your thoughts and prayers. And please also keep in mind the officers that continue to put themselves in harm's way in order to keep our city safe. Our officers continue to make a positive impact on their city. And as we mourn the 72 fallen, we have to recognize the sacrifice that each of them and their families have given for this city and for this community. Thank you for being here and stay safe.